Shari, a Fox 4 viewer named Diana said that she went to rent a house online through a website. She contacted the man. He asked for money. She came right here to the Cape Coral Police Department to file a police report and get this. Investigators here tell me they get complaints like this weekly. Diana Aponte thought this neighborhood in Cape Coral would make a perfect home that she found online to rent. She messaged the site and a male called her back. Well, when I get to the house, he'll give me a code to go in. So I got that sound kind of suspicious and also the price of the rental. So I call a male friend to come with me. I was I'm a woman. I'm scared. When she got to the house, we saw the house. It's brand new. It's beautiful. And then we started seeing in the bathroom mirrors uh, fraud, scam, uh, stickers, alert, be, be, be careful. She took these pictures while inside. She felt uneasy about it. So when the male contacted her back, I told him that I was going to think about it and he, and he sent me the link for the application that I didn't fill out. So then he called me three times that night, but I didn't pick up and he called me the next day twice and I didn't pick up. She decided to go to the police department and file a report because something was telling her it seemed quote fishy. I spoke with Cape Coral police today and as it turns out, it happens all too often. Something it's officer Brandon so Sancho has heard and personally seen plenty of times. Just based on my prior experience working on the road, I've dealt with several of these um, where victims of this type of crime, where they've actually provided their personal information like their licenses, and they also sent money through bank apps like Zelly to um, pay for a alleged down payment and um, creating a fake contract with these scammers. And as for the stickers and signs. Those stickers are most likely put on by the actual agency that's renting the house, so not the scammer. I even tried to get to the bottom of this myself by calling the company listing the house. Currently, there's a woman who's trying to rent this house, and there's a person going by a and he says that he is in charge with renting this house. The person on the other line said that this is a fraud and you should not communicate with them. The scams are everywhere. If you don't go to the police department when I went there and report it, it's just going to continue. It's very difficult to actually locate them. Most likely they're going to be overseas. If they are here locally, they're going to be using fictitious phone numbers. I thought it's my responsibility as a, as a citizen to notify this. I don't want this to happen in my community or to anyone else. It goes with the traditional saying, if it doesn't feel right or seems too good to be true, it probably is. Cape Coral Police say that you can go to the Lee County appraisal site to type in the address and find out who the owner is. They say if you go to a house, only go with a realtor or find out if you can meet the owner. If you seem like it's something suspicious, call the Cape Coral Police Department. They say these types of reports help with their investigations. Live at Cape Coral Police Department, Elise Chingari, Fox 4.